All right, what's going on? It's Ed here from JM Honda Miami, and we are gonna take a close look at these five motorcycles. We're gonna start off with the Honda Grom. This is a 2022 Honda Grom. We have a 2020 Honda Monkey, a 2022 Honda Trail 125, a 2022 Honda Super Cub, and the 2022 Honda Navi. All right, so getting started, we're gonna do a quick comparison of practicality, pretty much what you see on the outside, all right? So we're not going to take these bikes for a test ride yet. We will in a future video, but starting off with practicality, I'm giving you an honest opinion from what I've seen in years of experience in selling these vehicles. What do people use them for and what would you most likely get out of them if you were to purchase one? So the Honda Grom, where we start, where it's been around in the most recent years. The Honda Grom is a fun little motorcycle. They just upgraded the transmission to a five-speed gearbox. The cool thing about the Honda Grom, if you really wanted to put somebody on the back, you totally could. I've had a ton of customers purchase this motorcycle just because they want to get to and from work. And if they want to throw somebody on the back like their girlfriend, it's 100% possible. The Honda Monkey, a classic from all the way 10, 20, 30 years ago, the Honda Monkey is a legendary Honda motorcycle. It is not meant for two people. It is a looks bike. Compared to the Honda Grom, because both of these do have the same engine, this is a plastic tank. More sporty, this is a metal tank where you really do see the difference in value. There's a lot of very nice original pieces on this and they're all very big. You got a metal right here, fender, the gas cap. This is the, pr pretty much the only plastic on the bike. This is to cover the air box. So you get a good comparison. There is no two person riding on the Honda Monkey. Consider that now before you go and, and, um, and try to sit two people on them. It's not comfortable. You're better off with the Grom. Stepping on over to the CT125 Honda Trail. Check it out. Also, another great bike shares the same engine with these two, but does not allow you to cover and, and share with another passenger. There's nowhere to sit. Now, now this motorcycle, the main reason it's been selling and it's really hard to find these, people love to go on adventures. Customers that buy these love to put them in the back of their pickup truck, go camping, fishing. I had a customer that goes to the beach every other day and he tells me this is the great motorcycle to do it with. Also, the customers that have been purchasing this bike, you guessed it, are doing food delivery services. I was told by a few customers they can make upwards of $200 a day making deliveries with this bike. So I've, I've had a customer do deliveries with the Grom, but he told me it's not the most comfortable. The Honda Trail is made for the delivery service industry. Now you have your Super Cub, your C125, super elegant exactly the same as the honda trail pretty much the same features the same fender the same seat um just a little bit different it's more elegant it's more of a show bike it's something to show off it's made for yourself to go around town but overall it's just something very nice to look at i would not try and put a second passenger on here i do know that they make a back um a rest case so you can put stuff on the back to make it pretty similar to the Honda Trail because overall it is the same frame, same engine as the previous four. Now on to the new, and for me, it's the award-winning Honda Navi, the 2022. This bike comes from South America and Asia where it took over. All right, there's a huge market for bikes this size, especially if you already know the Grom, they've been making Grom clones. This is the competitor for that. Whoever tried to make a Grom clone in the past, forget about that clone. Come pick up a Honda Navi. I've seen people with delivery service luggage on the back of these. Again, making upwards of $200 a day, really making it work, making it happen. Very comfortable. There is no gearbox. 
This is the only engine that is different than the rest. This is a 110 cc automatic CVT engine transmission. Top speed wise, I wouldn't really try and run these hard. I would try and run these long distance, try and get the most out of my engine and the most possible miles. These are all collector bikes at the end of the day. After 30 years, these bikes are gonna last. They're gonna be around. They're gonna be in your garage. Your kids, your grandkids are gonna wanna drive these. But if you wanna talk about speed, you're gonna be in the 60s pushing it. 55 and plus category over here in the 125. And you're gonna be at 50 miles an hour on the Honda Navi. So this is a quick comparison video, just talking about comfort. Oh, before I forget, so besides the Honda Gram, the Honda Navi is the only other bike that can carry a passenger from factory. So you do have for seating for two on your Honda Navi. If you want to talk about price, you're looking at it. Honda Navi beats everything. You can get a Honda Navi for $1,800 MSRP compared to the rest. You're looking at almost double in MSRP. Everything here is $3,600, $3,300. Um, everything is double the price as the Honda Navi. So if you guys like this video or you're enjoying it, please smash that like button, share the video with your friends. If you have any questions, leave them please down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.